So, you know, a lot of people are wondering why <laughs> I haven't made a YouTube video in a while about my car or anything like that. Well, say about a month or two ago, my life took a really fucked up and drastic turn. And, uh, yeah, a lot of shit happened. Put it this way. Uh, my life basically is falling the fuck apart. And, uh, you know, it's going to take a while before I can rebuild my life. So, instead of letting you look at the fucking pavement right now, I'm going to tell you a couple things. The neon is no longer. I don't have that car anymore. Uh, the sounds are gone, ripped out of it, everything. Uh, my rims are sitting in my fucking mom and dad's house. Yeah, mom and dad's house. Here now. But, uh, let me give you a preview of what's to come. Yeah. Pick this little bad boy off of my buddy, Danny. You can go see him, 98 Alti. Check out his vids. He's got some pretty cool shit going on in Chicago. But, uh, this is my new car. Got this bad boy for about 700 bucks. It's basically your handyman special. It's got a few things wrong with it here and here. Uh, a couple lights lighting up on the dashboard. No big deal. It's the ABS light, uh, the brake light, shit like that. Uh, a couple weeks ago, as you can see, these rims, you know, they're nice. Didn't want to put them on. A couple weeks ago, if you look on in there, there's a new caliper bracket. Now, somebody where I'm living now decided they wanted to steal my lug nuts. And uh, when they did so, the wheel stock wheel that was on the front got loose and decided that it didn't it didn't want to be on the car anymore and uh, ripped the lug nut studs completely off the car busted all the lug nuts and ripped holes in the wheel which uh, I'll show those in that wheel in a minute uh, so to buy new lug studs as you can see right there and uh, replaced everything in the front caliper bracket and everything rebuilt the whole caliper myself bracket myself push those studs in myself you know I'm pretty proud of myself because I've never done shit like this I've mostly done fucking car audio so you know pretty impressive job I've done on this car so far from what I've done uh, so it has a leaking water pump which is going to be getting fixed in a couple months uh, show you the interior it's nothing special in here your basic shit uh, painted the dash a couple of days ago, so it's shiny black. Yeah, no radio in there yet. <laughs> don't know if, what if I'm going to do with this one. I don't even think I'm going to do sounds in it at all. Don't know. Don't have a clue what I'm going to do with this car. Nice little Burger Shot sticker from Grand Theft Auto there. How are you doing, man? What's up, man? Right. Temp plate. That's what I got on there right now. Yeah, I gotta pick up a rear deck from a junkyard. Like the Memphis Audio insignia. Had it laying around, slapped it on. But uh, here. That's the wheel that got ripped off the car. Due to loose lug nuts from someone stealing my lug nuts. Trying to steal them. Don't know why people would steal lug nuts. I guess fuckers over here like to take chrome shit. They like chrome, I guess. I don't know fucking dumbasses. So that happened and uh almost killed my dad doing it because he's the one that was driving the car at the time. Uh I wasn't here, I was out for the weekend. And uh yeah. So I had to put one of those aftermarket rims get rims on. Didn't want to. You see the bad boy is uh primer gray. A lot of potential here. A lot of shit gonna be happening with this car, hopefully. Just rebuilding, getting back to basics, trying to get my life organized. You know, <laughs> I always tell people you never, never know what you have until it's either ripped out of your hands or almost gone. Well, let me tell you guys something. I spent a lot of time thinking. <laughs> Spent a lot of days 
fucked up by myself. And, uh, you know, I lost everything. Got no, don't have that car no more. Uh, <laughs> currently unemployed. Live with my mom and dad. You know, hoping, hopefully life will get better. And I, and I know it will get better. Um, it's a, it's a, it's a messed up situation. So, currently, this is what I'm driving. Hopefully things look better. I know look better. Um, I'm just going to take and shoot it out there. Everyone pray for me on the 17th of November. Okay? But other than that, this is what I got. A to B car. <laughs> Nothing big about it. So don't expect me to be riding around with, uh, you know, updated wheels. If anything, you see that one? You're probably going to see more of that right there, stock. Because these are coming off the car. I'm rolling our factory rooms. I don't want anything shiny on it. I don't want nothing, you know, cool or nothing like that. Fuck that. I'm, I'm through with that shit for now. It's too expensive hobby. Uh, <laughs> The hobby that basically almost ended, uh, basically ended my life. And I'm going to say it because uh, it's an expensive hobby. And when you look at the job I had, working at Best Buy, trying to pay bills, it gets hard. It's it really hard. It gets hard to keep up with. So, this is what I got now. You'll see it all over the south side of Chicago. Primer gray. I'm sure the cops are gonna love me. There's no exhaust on this car too. Uh, that's it. And uh, you know, like I said, do me a favor, keep me in your prayers at night. Cause I'm hoping my life gets back together. Alright. <laughs> I'm not letting you in on any other details about what's happened or anything like that because that's just the simple of it. I'm just showing you the car and the fact that this is what I'm working with now. No 145 decibel monster. Peace out.